Hello and Happy New Year. Welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. We are starting 2022 off with a quick bite. And if you don't know what that is, quick bites are tips and techniques that every home cook should know. I have a whole playlist of them on my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make poached eggs that are perfect every time. Now, people are a little intimidated by poached eggs, and I get it, it could seem a little tricky, but I'm telling you, they're easy. Now, this video may seem a bit much, but it's because it's a tutorial, and I have broken down poaching an egg into every tiny step I probably should have called this the minutia of poaching an egg. But once you get the hang of it, and you really only have to do it once to get the hang of it, you'll be able to knock out a poached egg in about three minutes. So let's get started. Use a medium saucepan and fill it about two thirds of the way with water. Season the water with a pinch of salt, which is optional, and add about two tablespoons of white vinegar. Then simply crack your egg into a small bowl. While you're waiting for the water to boil, get a small plate lined with a paper towel, a slotted spoon, and be sure to have your toast ready. Bring the water up to a gentle boil. That's very important. Then stir the water to create a vortex. Then plop your egg right into the center. And then just leave it for about two minutes. After two minutes, check it by gently lifting it up. If it's very jiggly, it needs a little more time. When it's ready, ever so gently lift it out of the water and drain it on your paper towel. And that way you won't end up with soggy toast, which no one likes. Then tip the egg back into the spoon and gently and lovingly place it on your toast. You can eat it just like this or dress it up any way you like. I'll have mine with creme fraiche and caviar, please. And that's how to perfectly poach an egg. That's it. That's all there is to it. The main things to remember are you're dealing with an egg. It's a delicate, gentle little thing. So everything must be done delicately. A gentle boil, not a rolling boil. And the second most important tip is to put white vinegar in the water. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if it was helpful. Become a subscriber and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.